Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. Today, we're going to do a Euro cylinder. I uh, originally was going to do the Bassi Lock, um, but I'm going to save that for another video. Um, it was this that intrigued me. Um, I got this from Daz, uh, from Des Cook uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was a Vita Euro cylinder. Uh, it's got a uh, part number and that, and... Um, Similar box to what most Euro cylinders come in. But, as you see, I've cut it in half so we could get it gutted. Um, there's something about this lot that's uh, intrigued me. Normally, I wouldn't be that bothered. It's just a, a Euro cylinder. But it's also it's a cheaply made Euro cylinder. And you can tell because the uh, chrome finish is... a. Uh, you can't really see that. It's not that cle uh, clever on it. And you can tell when you feel the core, it's really loose and it's floppy, uh, as you can see, quite badly, which generally indicates it's um, a very cheaply made lot. But I'm just showing you the bitting. Bitting's not anything worthwhile. Well, it's like a bump key. Um, the lock does work and everything. It works nice and smooth. And the reason I was intrigued, because when I tried to pick it, it gave me a massive false set. I wasn't expecting any type of security pins in this whatsoever for a, for a cheap lock, um, but we're going to find out. But before we do, if you're interested in lock sport and you want to get involved, or you're just curious, please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk. And if you like what you see on my channel, you want to see some more, uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. If it's on your phone, it's down there. Uh, as I make two, three videos a week from picking locks, to lock tutorials, to challenge locks, all types of lock stuff really, re related, really. Um, also, I was going to say, uh, Foxy set me that beautiful little bassy lock. So what I did with a little Christmas hat, I stuck him on me little chef. So uh, he's looking all Christmassy now. <laughs> so we're going to get in this, and we're going to see what's in it. I wasn't really going to pick this on camera at all, but curiosity, like I say, I was having a faff around yesterday when I was a bit bored. I thought, you know, I've not picked it. I might as well just have a quick nose. And like I say, it was really, really odd. So... Let's have a go. Let's click on one. Two. Now hopefully in a minute you should see quite deep fault set. Oh, we're open this time. Ha! Normally there's a fault set round about here. Um, quite a deep one, but it's let me open it this time. But um, nevertheless, let's uh, excuse me. I've got a new kitchen now, and a drawer full of all my picking stuff. <laughs> that's a, that's in here. I've not quite organised it just yet. Let's get the pin in tray and let's let's find out what's in this uh, lock. Like I say, you, you can tell it's cheaply made. Uh, that's no reflection on Des, mate, for sending it. Still a cool lock, mate. I can certainly turn it into a challenge lock as long as the core is not... Um, well, you'll get, you get cores where the, uh, the, they're so cheaply made. Most of the core is missing and drilled away to save material. And it is uh, quite, a, quite horrific type of locks. They're just terrible the ones where if you go to turn the core and then gut it everything drops inside the cutouts um right key get a key in there now personally i would uh i would oh yeah Yep, definitely. I've already got it stuck. Oh, we got it out. We've lost a pin. And, oh, and we lost a couple more pins. And the valve fell out. Do you know what? I'm not bothered. Because uh, at least I found a spool. And that's, this is what I mean, as you can tell. This is a very cheap core. See these cutouts? <coughs> Excuse me. See these cutouts? What happens is when you go to gut it, if you turn it too much, your pins drop in here. 
and they're an absolute pain to pull out. Um, as I can see, yep, yeah, standard keepings, standard keepings, standard keepings. Yeah, as you can see, see them nice, them like them being cut out. So what happens is, let me get my uh, tweezers. Your pin will get stuck and jammed inside there as you're trying to gut it. And you just, the whole thing locks up and it's absolutely useless then. There's absolutely nothing you can do with it unless you can pull the caps out the bottom. I know where he was anyway. But what we definitely got, we've got to definitely got a spool. Um, all springs were missing. Aha, there he is. We're just missing one driver. Yeah, so as you can see, you could tell it's, uh, I say it was uh, cheaply made. That core is not a good core. I suppose it's a good core in the sense of uh, you want someone not to gut your lock. Because I knew there'd be something in there. That's why I turned it only ever slightly. Just so the, the driver pins were running across that side bit there. Because they would have got jammed. But this is the spool that was in it. There's a very, very deep spool, and I think that's cool. So that spool's coming out, and I'm going to keep hold of that spool. And because, uh, give me one second, it's a perfectly good spool. I got my pin box with, uh, as you can see, my little collection of pins, including, which is awesome. They're all American Lock springs and pins. And in this bit we have here the chest, the check and chest pieces from Lock Noob. These are the sparrow ones that uh, they copied. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace that spool, because I like that spool. And we're going to replace it with a standard drive. Because this lock is never... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm certainly not going to challenge... Uh, I could try making it to challenge a lot, but... Probably not going to have some fun with that. So let's say what was that spool. There we go. Just stick a standard one in. And then I'm going to pull another one out of there for the other half. Because I'm going to keep them two spools. Because spools are fun. Um, yeah. That's... Um, that's the thing with the, the cheap locks. So be careful if you're going to buy, you want to buy yourself some locks to pick. Especially, especially if you're new to lock picking, um, just be careful. Don't get really, really cheap locks because you're going to have really bad cores, and you, you, you'll pick them because they're not a difficult pick. But you're going to find you ain't going to cut them, and it's going to just really annoy you, and it's going to be completely waste. So I suggest as well try. Uh, this place called Home Bargains or Beanhams. They uh, they do Euro cylinders. They're about five quid. Um, the Yales, they're actually Yales, Home Essential Yales. Now, uh, don't get the night latches, the night latches. We can get the night latches to practice on, because uh, they're, 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 um, they're a nice pick, they're just no security pins, but you can get the Essential uh, Euro Cylinders, which are about six quid, I think, about five ninety nine. Uh, they do come with a couple of spools, and they are a, a lot more fun to pick. And you can obviously easily gut them, but this, these, the, like I say, these are not good for gutting at all. Um, you're gonna get, like I said, I got my spins, my springs trapped in there and everything. So just be careful. But yeah, um, we're gonna get the bassy picked. Um, gonna do it towards uh, Christmas. My last video before Christmas, I'll uh, I'll pick this. I think uh, special, nice little lock, and I'd rather do it towards a more special occasion. Well, I'll say now it is. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. All have a great Christmas and a wonderful time. And don't forget to like. Bye.